So before we get started, I'd like to apologize for the background noise that you're probably going to hear throughout this video. I'm actually recording in a different place than usual. So yeah, sorry in advance for that. So we're back in studio, and as you can see here, I've tried to replicate the Uber Eats app. I designed this really quickly, but if I just extend this artboard, you'll see what I've done in advance. So we have three different states, so to speak, although this is all one screen. We have this breakfast skillet state, this acai bowl, I believe that's how you pronounce that, and some strawberry pancakes. Um, notice how we only have one of these order now buttons and we only have one of these um, photo number indicator groups here. And we only have one of these indicator bars. Um, the more you play around with Studio, the more you realize that some elements you'll need to have on both screens and some elements you only really need to have on one screen. If this doesn't make sense right now, you'll see what I mean in a second. So real quick overview of the design. We have some photos, which I named accordingly. So photo one, two, and three. We have this progress indicator bar. So there's just like a background track and then there's the actual indicator itself. So I just named those accordingly. So track and indicator. Then we have this photo number to indicate which photo we're looking at in this gallery. And then we have a description of what we're looking at here and this call to action button. One thing to note, each of these photos, I actually added an extra fill. So I just hit this plus icon and that created a fill. So originally, this is just a black fill. Whoops, this is just a black fill at 100% opacity. But I took the opacity all the way down and you'll see why I do this. Um, this is gonna play a role when we actually go to prototype this. But essentially what we're trying to do is if I just open up the preview, we want to be able to swipe from one state to the next. So in this case, we're going to be swiping left to get to the acai bowl from the breakfast skillet. And then same thing to get from the acai bowl to the strawberry pancakes. So I definitely took some time to determine how to set up this initial state. If it doesn't make sense right now, as far as like where the elements should be, it will when I go to prototype. So let's do that now. Let's duplicate this artboard by hitting Command D. And let's just move it over a little. Now we want to determine what's going to happen to these elements in this new state. So this new artboard we just created. So I'm going to scale down this first photo. And we'll make sure the height is like a nice round number. So we'll make this 200 just so we can remember it. And I'm going to slide it over like so about here I'm kind of just eyeballing this and remember that fill we had which is at zero percent opacity right now we're just going to hike that all the way up to 100. so this is actually going to look like this photo is fading out but really the fill opacity is just turning to 100. you can actually do it either way but this is how i decided to do this so now what else are we going to do in this new state well we're going to slide these elements over like so and let's just make sure we are at the edge here we're also going to be looking at the third photo so let's change this two to a three and this indicator here initially I made this one sixth of the track so the second photo we were looking at was two-sixths of the way there. So now we want to change this to three-sixths or one-half of the way there. Um, so we can just duplicate this and slide it over and make sure that it is even with the edge. Whoops. Make sure it's even with the edge of the second indicator. And now we can just delete the second indicator. So now we know this is halfway or we're looking at the third photo. We also want this acai bowl description to kind of fade in. So in order to do that, we actually have to look at the first state and see um, what it was in the first state. So it's fully visible in the first state, right? So we want it to fade in. So let's bring the opacity of it all the way down actually in the first state so that by the time it gets to the second state, it's, you know, it's fully visible because the way Studio animates, it just animates the difference between elements. So since it was zero opacity here and 100% opacity here, you can kind of imagine how that's going to animate in. It's just going to kind of fade in once these elements slide over. And the same thing can be done for this breakfast skillet. So this one is actually going to fade out in the new state. 
So let's find breakfast skillet and just turn the opacity of it all the way down. And I think now we should be good to prototype this. So let me just double check. We did everything I think we did. Cool, so let's select this first photo, hit C on our keyboard, connect it to the second state, and we're gonna trigger this with a swipe left, so I already selected this. Navigate to Artboard 2, and we're gonna have motion selected. So let's hit save, and let's open up our preview. Let's see if this worked. So we can swipe left on this photo, and we see we get the desired result. So you see this first photo is scaling down, sliding over, and it's fading out. And this second photo, so the acai bowl, is basically looks like it's sliding over top of it because we get this kind of depth effect from this first photo scaling down. And let's see how the other, other elements are behaving. So we have this indicator sliding over like we want. And if you look at the text down here, so the des descriptions of each of these photos, so the breakfast guild is fading out and the acai bowl is fading in. And then we, we see this two change to a three. So one more time. Awesome, that's looking pretty much exactly how I wanted it. So now let's just create a way to get back to the first state with a right swipe. So we wanna be able to swipe in the opposite direction to get back. So that's really simple to do. We can just select this acai bowl photo here hit C on our keyboard to create a link to the first state. And this is gonna be a, this time, a swipe right to artboard one. We'll select motion, and again, I'm not really messing with the duration and delay here because this is a swipe gesture, so this is all gonna be controlled via swipe, like via how fast you swipe anyway, so these duration delay parameters won't really play too much of a role here. So let's just preview this again. So now, we can swipe in the other direction, and we get the reverse of that transition. Very cool. This feels exactly like the Uber Eats app. So I went ahead and replicated this process to get from Artboard 2 to Artboard 3, so to get from acai bowl to strawberry pancakes, and here's the final result. We can now swipe from state to state, and we get this smooth depth effect transition similar to what we see inside Uber Eats. So yeah, that's been it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please drop a like, drop a comment with what you wanna see next and subscribe for more and stay tuned for more tutorials. Talk to you guys in the next one.